Hello, brothers and sisters. So the talk of the day at the moment is this whole transport corridor that Biden unveiled at the G20. So let's talk about that. Let's read through the basics of it. Biden has unveiled historic transport corridor running through Saudi and Israel. Israel is going to be the center of this. And in this final week, it would not surprise me if Antichrist ruled from Israel where the biggest AIs will be and all the corridors will cross too. A broad alliance of states on Saturday unveiled ambitious plans to create a modern-day spice route linking Europe, the Middle East, and India, boosting trade and ties with potentially paradigm-changing geopolitical implications. The United States, Saudi Arabia, the European Union, the United Arab Emirates, and others launched the initiative to link railways, ports, electricity, and data networks and hydrogen pipelines on the sidelines of the G20 summit in New Delhi. Although heavily trade-focused, the scheme will have wide-ranging implications, including developing contacts between long-time foes like Israel and Saud. Signatories hope it will help integrate India's vast market of 1.4 billion people with countries to the west, offering a counterbalance to the Chinese infrastructure. This is a real big deal, said U.S. President Joe Biden at the launch event, called the plan historic. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said the so-called India-Middle East Europe economic corridor was much more than just a railway or a cable. It is a green digital bridge across continents and civilization, she said. One proposed project would link railway and port facilities across the Middle East, including the UAE, Saudi Arabia, Jordan and Israel, potentially speeding trade between India and Europe by up to 40%. Pramit Pal Chaduri, South Asia practice head at the Eurasia Group, said a shipping container that today travels from Mumbai through the Suez Canal to Europe could in the future go by rail from Dubai to Haifa in Israel and on to Europe, saving time and money. And it's a good point to make at the very moment where the Suez Canal is struggling to get container ships through because the water level is reaching such drastic levels that they need to look at another solution to get goods moving around because there is a bottleneck in supply and demand that is going to affect a lot of people, drive prices up and drive commodities into scarcity because they can't get them fast enough to where they need to go. That is those goods that are still available where there hasn't been a crisis just yet, but one will be appointed to it shortly. So interesting, a whole network connecting them all and Israel will sit pretty much in the center of this. And she's got the gas, she's got the AI, she's got everything they need, and she's linking them. All the more reason why Russia will want to come and take a spoil and stop this, if she can, as soon as possible. And then she runs into God. And you don't just run into God looking for trouble. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.